The heart of Northside Independent School District lies in the people who call it home. To celebrate the district is to celebrate the people who have helped Northside grow for 60 years. The greatest legacy lies in the students, the thousands of graduates over the last six decades. Looking ahead to the future of Northside includes embracing the past and those who led the way. In 1949, nine rural school districts joined to form Northside Consolidated School District. Though spread out across Northwest Bear County, the community came together to build a high school because they recognized the importance of education for all children. And, uh, there were farms and dairies all up and down the Bandera Road, Babcock, the whole area, Calabra Road. There were farms and ranches and uh, we were, we were country folks. The earliest bond election, less than $250,000, led to the construction of Northside High School. There were seven students in the first graduating class in 1951. I had to make a speech and I was so nervous. There were probably a hundred people there, but I remember it very well. And uh, Ed Cody's wife, Carlta played the piano for us, and uh, I think after graduation we all hugged each other, took our little programs and went home, unlike the parties they have now. I think I missed a lot there. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicated teachers have always been at the foundation of Northside's success, whether the district employed 30 teachers or thousands of teachers. Our teachers truly care about kids, and as a a uh, student in Northside, there were so many times when I truly felt that my teachers cared about me and worried about me and wondered what I was doing and encouraged me. And I think that we still see that now. I don't think that has ever changed. And what I find amazing about Northside is as large as we get, you still have such a family feel. This was the first school that told me in second grade, my teacher, that I could go to college, the first person to push me and pursue me. So it's been very special to me because they've always encouraged. And a lot of the teachers that were here when I went to school are still teaching here. So it's shown me a lot of dedication and the hard work and the loyalty and love that the teachers have for it, which then I turned in. I'm glad that I could be here to do the same for these kids. Keeping up with growth has always been a challenge. The early farms and ranches have since turned into subdivisions, commercial properties, and new schools. Those were our real struggles. It was just, you know, constantly trying to keep a roof over the kid's head and a seat under them, a bus to go get them, <laughs> and feed them when they were there. This was, it was, it was very difficult. We're lucky to have good people who could help us pay attention to um, curriculum programs, kept the, the uh, learning programs solid and sound, and, and, and turned out youngsters who were, could go anywhere they wanted. Then and now, dedicated board members and dedicated superintendents guided decision making in areas of instruction, growth, and finance. Look at us. I mean, we had Mr. Cody, we had Mr. Jordan, we had Mr. Rawlinson, Dr. Folks. I mean, all of these superintendents have stayed with us through thick or thin and cared about the district. It was truly something that was important to them. It wasn't a stepping stone to someplace else. This was their home. And I think that that really has had a huge impact on the success of this district. Today, one of the district's highest honors recognizes the contributions of early leaders and educators. Even our schools are named after people of significance, especially in our elementary schools, that were people within the district, in the middle schools, Rawlinson, Jordan. You see those, those names being carried on, um, and people still identify with the people that those schools are named after because they were part of Northside. So it's sort of a family tradition. Other traditions have come from activities that unite students outside the classroom. The enduring agriculture program, the creative pursuits of music and art, and the pride of spirit organizations and athletic programs. Young men and women represent their Northside schools and winning traditions. 
specialized programs continue to expand opportunities for Northside students. Bilingual education, special education, GT, career and technology, and magnet high schools. From typewriters to early computers and now the internet and wireless laptops, the district has also evolved with rapidly changing technology. Through the years, Northside has welcomed national and state leaders, including sitting United States Supreme Court justices and Texas governors. More importantly, the district has produced leaders in education, law, politics, the military, and professional sports. Award-winning students and staff have always represented Northside at the highest level. Notable accomplishments also include recognition of Blue Ribbon and Exemplary Schools, designation as a recognized district, and more recent state and national honors from HEB and the Broad Prize for Urban Education. As Northside surpasses 90,000 students, it's no small feat that the community has continued to support over $2 billion in bonds. By outward appearances, much has changed in Northside in 60 years, but the core values remain the same. A commitment to putting students first and preparing them for success as citizens of an ever-changing world. Dedicated employees continue to meet the challenges brought on by the district's changing size and diversity. Congratulations to us for celebrating our 60th anniversary and I think that we will be here for a long time and that there will be many other um, individuals in our community and students that come back that care about this district and help to make sure that it remains successful in the future. We're celebrating 60, but more importantly, we're going on, and it's going to get more difficult, but we've learned what it takes to do it, and it's the people that we get in here.